What's up everybody, I'm a rabbit, so I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, torque drift to Horizon 4 paint build on the E46. Cars are going to be a little bit different here in Horizon 4 with uh, a couple few different stickers 
as well as it's a twin turbo V8 because we cannot get the rotary in this game for this car. So we are on race tires, which is a tire compound I don't normally drift on. So it's going to be very interesting to say the least, but we're going to go send it anyways. There we go. Surprisingly, it handles quite well on race tires. But I added the race tires just because uh, it has the white lettering, just like my torque drift car does in the game. So I did make this uh, paint scheme public. So if you guys want to download it and rock it on your E46 yourself, you are more than welcome to. It is TD E46 EVL, just like it showed on the screen. So if you guys want to give it a rock yourself, let me know what you guys think about it just don't do that oh um we're gonna try and not die so that happened we almost died but uh like i said i hope you guys enjoyed the delivery time lapse of just making a the E46 delivery here on Horizon 4. Like I said, it is available and this thing rips. We're going to rip it downhill for points here in a minute. But uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about these uh, torque drift to uh, Horizon 4 builds. So unfortunately we were unable to do the 4 rotor or the rotary motor in this car here on Horizon. But we are rocking a uh, V8 twin turbo is over a thousand horsepower on this car and surprisingly it's plenty of power for these race tires but even though i'm gripping up right there i'm still trying to uh get used to drift again race tires so we're gonna send it downhill hopefully we'll do better we'll let the brakes there because it does grip up really quick if i get off throttle not the best tires to be drifting on but for aesthetics that's what we are doing today Now we're going to send it downhill before we end this episode off. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll be found in the description box below. So, a few tweaks on the livery for Forza Horizon 4. Yo, I was worried I was going to lose that for a second. Damn power, damn power. That was as much as I can. Pretty much gotta stay on power with this car. With how grippy the setup is. And break that in instead of modulating that. The car does have a lot of power and does handle very well. And it's uh Definitely a slider for sure. With that, I mean, we may be able to beat our old high score in this car. Wouldn't that be something? As long as we don't screw it up. Wouldn't that be something? Build this car in this game like this and uh, to the torch with Lirion and then smash our own personal best. On the downhill, I'd be okay with this on the first run down too. Keep as much power as possible. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna beat our own score. Four hundred thirty-three, new personal best. I will take that any day. Can we take a look at the uh, leaderboards? I want to see if the one person that I wanted to beat, I beat. And that is my friend, Urgent Recall 24. No. 3,000 off. I feel like we can get his score. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. 
and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. I send you to download this car for yourself if you want to rock this delivery here on Forza Horizon 4 on the E46. So, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and we'll see you guys next time. This thing drives pretty nice. I think I'm going to leave this this way. Turn around Oops. when it is safe to do 